Hello everybody, it is Rough Bro, and yes, you're hearing my voice again on YouTube. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded anything, and I apologize for that. I said I would upload a video a month for this year, but um, things, as you probably know, have gotten really crazy in the world, and I just haven't had the time to really put into videos, and I really haven't had motivation to do anything, um, especially with all this school stuff, and then getting ready for college and all that for me it's just been really crazy so I apologize for that but anyway I thought I would start off this year of YouTube doing another collection tour especially cuz if you follow me on Instagram you know that I have gotten rid of the majority of my OF models I think I'm only down to like two shelves here as you'll see in a second and I used to have over like 50 traditionals in my collection um, so yeah, it'll be really different, but obviously I still have all of my resins and customs and that is in fact what I am kind of more focusing on now is customs and resins and the more um, limited edition runs or runs that um, I really like. Some of these I will just never get rid of because I love them so much, um, etc. So um, yeah, I thought I would really quickly do a collection tour, so I hope you guys enjoy. All right, and to start off the collection tour, we will start on this top shelf here. So this is the start of the rest of my OF briars. Um, I don't have many, like I said, so <laughs> it's not going to be very much, but here they are. So I still have my signed Cupid and Arrow because I love them so much. Um, I just can't get rid of them, and they are sentimental to me, so they will stay. Over here, another sentimental, obviously. I don't think anybody would be interested in him anyway, even if I did sell him. But this is my 2019 signing model from Briarfest 2019, obviously. Um, so he is getting to stay. I'm sad I don't get to have one for this year, as Briarfest is going online. Um, but he's really cool, and I I'll keep him for sentimental reasons. And then, right here, the last models on these shelves, uh, this shelf here is um, my 2002 Christmas horses. Um, they obviously will be staying because of that's my birth year and my mom got these guys for me and they're very um, sentimental to me as well. So yeah, um, that is the shelf. This last OF shelf is all of these guys. Um, these are the rest of my OFs. Um, so yeah, of course, I am keeping my Thrill Seeker. He is absolutely perfect. Um, I will not ever be selling him probably. He's always been a grail of mine and I just, I couldn't bear to sell him. Right here is my cigar. I got to see him at the horse park in 2014 before he died, um, that December. Um, so I want, I always want to keep a model of him around. Um, so yeah, there he is. Of course, my two Barbaros, I will always be keeping them because they're sentimental. He's one of my favorite racehorses of all time. Um, so I have to I have to keep him around. Next guy is my sample wind talker. I got him from a really good friend, um, Anna. Um, she knows who she is. Um, and she gave me a really nice deal on this guy and I just couldn't bear to sell him. Um, he means a lot to me as well. Even though he doesn't show very well, but I, I really like him, and I, I don't think I would be able to sell him if I even if I wanted to. And then the last traditional here is my ruffian, of course. Um, she is also um, one of my sentimentals. She is um, I've, one of the models I've always wanted as a kid, um, and she was also is also my, one of my favorite uh, racehorses as well. So of course she stays around. And then down here I have my Sarge. This guy is just so cool. Um, I do have one that's new in box that's for sale, but I decided to keep this, um, there we go. I decided to keep this um, out of box one because he's just so cool and I like the color shifting paint on him. Next is my Mini Me Ruffian, of course, because I have the traditional, I wanted to keep around the Mini. Um, She's so cool, and one of the single day stable hands that I actually like that they've ever come out with. So, um, yeah, she stays. And then over here, I have my mini American Pharaoh, just because I love American Pharaoh so much. I wanted to keep this guy around to remember him by as well. 
And then over here I have two clinkies actually that I don't really know what I'm going to do with. They might end up being for sale, but I got them as prizes for a photo show. Um, these two are really cute. I might keep those too, but I don't know about this white one. It's just not really my cup of tea, but I do like these little two little folds here. Um, but yeah, that is it for my um, OF briars. That's that is all I'm keeping. It's kind of crazy to say that, um, but that is it. That is all my OF briars. All right, now we are into the cabinet, which is where all of my resins and customs stay. Um, and yeah, so we'll start off on this first shelf. Obviously, back here is my Vitrix. As all of you probably know, she's my profile picture on Instagram. Um, I probably post about her a little too much sometimes. Um, but yeah, she is a Vitrix resin, um, sculpted by Carol Williams and painted by Mariah Vogue. Um, she is my pride and joy. I love her. I will never sell her. She's one of the only horses that I would never sell even if like something bad happened to me or whatnot. She's just a never sell. Like I just love this horse so much. And this little guy to her outside um, is a, I'm gonna probably, uh, just a warning, I will probably mispronounce some people's names. Mold names, just yeah, I apologize. Um, but yeah, this is a Geshki, Geshki resin, um, sculpted by uh, Carly Balling uh, and painted by Tom Bainbridge. She is absolutely gorgeous, she has a lot of detail to her. And then, right here, we'll go on to the minis that are here. Um, this girl, this pregnant girl on this, uh, on the outside here. Um, is a G1 Jurassic Custom, sculpted by uh, Shannon Mayfield, is also painted by Shannon Mayfield. Um, she has done amazing for me as a show horse. Um, she got overall, overall, overall uh, grand champion at uh, Mid-Kansas Minis. Um, she made me very proud. <laughs> and then right here, I have this new guy that I got actually just um, not too long ago, actually. Um, this is a running thoroughbred. Um, he is painted by, or she is painted by, um, C. Ray Abelt. Um, I hope I pronounced that right. I have a couple pieces, um, another piece by her as well. So, um, but yeah, this is this guy. And then going over here, um, right um, to the outside is my Moxie resin, uh, sculpted by Sierra, Sarah Rose. Um, let me get out of the light so you can see her better. Um, and is painted by Sherry Clayton. And then over here is my other um, C. Ray uh, Abelt piece. Um, she also sculpted this girl as well. She is a Andalusian Stallion uh, re-sculpt. Um, so yeah, this is this whole shelf. And now on to this shelf. In the back there, I have um, a Lonesome Glory Custom by um, by Biohazard Briars. Um, is a portrait of Gopher Wand. If you know who that is, that's a racehorse. And then on this outside here is my zombie uh, Lonesome Glory Custom. Uh, he is sculpted and painted by Jessie Dwyer. Um, she did a phenomenal job on this guy, and I really wish she still painted and sculpted because I would definitely get another piece by her. And then down here, the girl in the back, that is um, my mini percussion, aka pearl resin. Um, she is sculpted by Deborah McDermott and um, is painted by Heather Bullich. Bullich? Bullich? I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> One of those. Um, in front of her is a mini Alborozo custom by Colleen Richmond. I actually have another um, paint job by her as well. You'll see her later. Then back there is my mini Wahoo sculpted by Kitty Control, And then painted by Mackenzie, I'm going to definitely mispronounce this one, Joro Drozvik. Drozvik? I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> I have another piece by her as well. Um, these two girls, sadly, I don't know who they are by, but they are stunning nonetheless. Um, both have done very well um, showing. Um, this girl is slightly re-sculpted. Her tail is re-sculpted and her head is tilted, um, as you can see next to the regular uh, Magnolia, both Magnolia customs. 
Um, very pretty, both of them are. So this is the shelf. All right, now onto this third shelf. In the back there, I have my Custom True North uh, by Brooke Lewis. Um, she did a fantastic job on this guy. When I saw him go up for sale from somebody else who actually commissioned him, um, I knew I had to have him, so I grabbed him immediately. Um, and he's done pretty well at photo shows. I haven't been able to bring him to a live show yet. And then down here is my custom Gillen. Um, he is resculpted. He actually has a peg in his leg. If you can, oh. he has a peg in his leg to lift him up. His tail is swishy, and his face and his lips are so cute. Um, but yeah, he is um, sculpted and painted by um, uh, Jor Georgia uh, Padgett. 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 I hope I'm saying that right. Um, yeah, he is, I, when I saw him, I knew I needed him. He's another one that I was like, oh my god, he's so cute. Alright, and then right here is my mini Brio. He is sculpted by Sheila Bishop and um, is painted by McKen uh, Mackenzie, again, I'm, I might be saying this wrong, Jorsvik? Jorsvik? Um, yeah, she did a great job on this guy. He's done really well at photo shows as well. I do not know who this guy is by. He is an etchy rivet. Um, he's really nice though, and he's done fairly well. Um, just because of other Mustangs that I have in my collection, he just doesn't do as well compared to them, so I might be looking to change his breed so that he gets out of the class with those two guys. Back there is my little mini, little Sadie. Um, uh, she is going to be painted eventually. <laughs> and then finally in front here I have um, my Ab 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 Adib resin. Um, he is painted to look like my real horse, um, so he's very special to me. Um, he is sculpted by Josine uh, Vingler, Ving oh, Vinglerling, Vinglerling. Um, and is painted by Kingston Studios. Um, he's absolutely gorgeous and everything I could have wanted. So yeah, these are all of these guys. All right, and here is the final shelf. Sorry if it's dark down here. Um, again, um, obviously my bed is right in front of here, so the window doesn't get all the light to down here, um, but we will work with it. In the back, I have my Gizma. Um, she is sculpted by Ketia Elp. I hope that's how you pronounce that. And is painted by Dreamcatcher Studios on Instagram. She is absolutely gorgeous. This silver in the front, I really don't know who his artist is or... Yeah. He does have a Namsha stuff to his name. Um, stuff like that. So he is... He's really pretty, but I don't know who he's by. In the back there is um, my Halflinger Full Custom. Um, I won him in a giveaway, actually, from Desert Road Studios, and that's who painted him. He's really cute, and he's done pretty well as well. Um, and then in front of that is a Finnegan resin. I'm not sure who he is by, uh, or is who he's painted by. I apologize. Um, I used to know, but he actually was sold. Um, I actually sold him at one point, and he came back to me. And then the front here, this little peanut, will eventually be getting repainted. I'm not 100% on his color. I don't really like it anymore. Um, but he has a pink, uh, he has a peanut resin uh, by Sarah Mink. Um, right now, he is painted by Cheyenne Norman. Um, he will, again, eventually be stripped. And then over here, this little girl is kind of going to be hard to see because she's a dark bay on a dark wood um, base. Uh, but this is a Collect A Pony, um, painted by uh, Colleen Richmond again, who did the Alborozo from earlier. Um, she just does really nice dark bays, um, and I really like them, so I have two pieces by her. And then over here is um, a G1 American Saddlebred, uh, not drastic custom, but um, she is resculpted slightly. Her tail is different. It's down instead of up. Um, I do not know her painter or her sculptor, but she is very nicely done. Um, so yeah, if you guys know any of the artists that might have uh, painted any of the horses that I don't know of, uh, please let me know, because I would love to know for records and stuff like that, and yeah, 
Alright everybody, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope to get another video out soon. I have a couple plans. Um, so yeah, if you'd like to see anything specific, please leave it in the comments. I'm always open to doing tags or challenges or whatnot. So um, please let me know for sure. I would love to get some more video ideas from you guys. Be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you want. I hope to have more videos out and go check out my old videos. I actually did a collection tour last April and you can see how much my collection has changed for sure. Um, so go give that video some love too and I hope you guys um, have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Bye bye